Nothing you have not given away will ever really be yours. Love is not an affectionate feeling, but a steady wish for the loved person's ultimate good as far as it can be obtained. Integrity is doing the right thing, even when no one is watching. Affection is responsible for nine-tenths of whatever solid and durable happiness there is in our lives. Experience, that most brutal of teachers, but you learn, my God, do you learn. Friendship is unnecessary, like philosophy, like art. It has no survival value. Rather, it is one of those things which gives value to survival. What draws people to be friends is that they see the same truth. They share it. This is one of the miracles of love. It gives a power of seeing through its own enchantments and yet not being disenchanted. You are never too old to set another goal or to dream a new dream. Education without values as useful as it is, seems rather to make man a more clever devil. We do not retreat from reality, we rediscover it. What saves a man is to take a step, then another step. If you look for truth, you may find comfort in the end. If you look for comfort, you will not get either comfort or truth only soft soap and wishful thinking to begin, and in the end, despair. I do not believe one can settle how much we ought to give. I am afraid the only safe rule is to give more than we can spare. Everyone thinks forgiveness is a lovely idea until he has something to forgive. Pride gets no pleasure out of having something, only out of having more of it than the next man. I have learned now that while those who speak about one's miseries usually hurt, but those who keep silence hurt more. Things never happen the same way twice. For the present is the point at which time touches eternity. Failures are finger posts on the road to achievement. Everyone feels benevolent if nothing happens to be annoying him at the moment. Do not waste time bothering whether you love your neighbor. Act as if you did. As soon as we do this, we find one of the great secrets. When you are behaving as if you love someone, you will presently come to love him. We want not so much a father, but a grandfather in heaven, a God who said of anything we happen to like doing. What does it matter as long as they are contented? I believe in Christianity as I believe that the sun has risen, not only because I see it, but because by it I see everything else. The Christian does not think God will love us because we are good but that God will make us good because he loves us. Though our feelings come and go, God's love for us does not. I think he made one law of that kind in order that there might be obedience. In all these other matters, what you call obeying him is but doing what seems good in your own eyes also. Is love content with that? To enter heaven, is to become more human than you ever succeeded in being on earth. To enter hell is to be banished from humanity. You don't have a soul. You are a soul. You have a body. If we find ourselves with a desire that nothing in this world can satisfy, the most probable explanation is that we were made for another world. It is when we notice the dirt that God is most present in us. It is the very sign of his presence. 
To love at all is to be vulnerable. Love anything and your heart will be wrung and possibly broken. If you want to make sure of keeping it intact, you must give it to no one, not even an animal. Wrap it carefully round with hobbies and little luxuries. Avoid all entanglements. Lock it up safe in the casket or coffin of your selfishness. But in that casket, safe, dark, motionless, airless, it will change. It will not be broken. It will become unbreakable, impenetrable, irredeemable. To love is to be vulnerable.